Hi everybody. So uh, in our last video we finished uh, a bunch of things. Many, many things. At the moment I don't remember what they were. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So working on the leading edge of the left wing. I've gotten all of the pieces prepped and so now it's time to mock that sucker up. So you take the skin, you put it into the tank form. Technically, this comes before the tanks. And I kind of really wished I'd have started with this first before I did a tank. Uh, there's a lot of things I learned from the tanks. I wish I'd have learned it from this because this doesn't include tank sealant. It's amazing. As I put the ribs, so you put the skin into the uh, holder, put the ribs in, click on it. As I'm doing it, my mind is flashing back like it's numb. I'm just kidding. But no, it's it's kind of like war. It's like, oh god, do I have to mix sealant? No, I don't. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the sealant, but uh, Jesus. So yeah, you just uh, you put them in and then you slide in the uh, J channel. Uh, you have to line up that pre-drilled hole that you made earlier and then click that in place. The line that you've drawn across the flange should appear in the rivet holes along the skin. And when they show up in place, you just make sure that it lines up, drill a hole, put a click up, drill a hole, put a click up. And that's what I do here at nauseum. Uh, while I'm doing that, uh, club business is good. I've been doing a lot of uh, maintenance lately. We've had a lot of adventures. The data plate stuff got finished. Had one plane in annual for four weeks. But it's back. Now we have all new issues every day of the week. And I just realized how fat that shirt makes me look. No. Anyway. So after you're done making sure that the J channel fits, you have to match drill one hole at the top of the wings where the ribs are that don't appear in the ribs. So there's just one more hole, and you'll notice it when you put it in because you're like, huh, this hole doesn't have a match. Well, you match the drill though, so don't worry about that. Here's the funny thing the instructions say. They say, go ahead and match drill those holes, and those are the only holes that you drill outside the J channel, and then take the whole thing apart. They never say anything about final drilling the skins to the ribs. No, they, they never say anything because you've already finally drilled the ribs separately. So, hey, look, they don't even tell me to final drill the skin now. All they tell me to do is uh, drill and then... Um, actually, they don't even say to deburr the skins. Thank you, the magic of editing, because I just had to fix that crap. So, just got done uh, helping our club mechanic redo the front of a 172, the front wheel strut, uh, re-ringing the strut and refilling it full of oil and air. So here I am dimpling the J channel. It had been uh, previously deburred by myself. And now I'm going through and dimpling all of the flanges in the ribs. And there's one thing I'd like to say, so you know I love that squeezer, but there's w only one thing. So I've got the adjustable ram, right? Adjustable ram is great. One full turn is a 32,000th uh, 32 of an inch. It's, it's, it's wonderful, right? You know exactly, oh, I'm changing up one size, two turns, I'm done. Uh, but be, that adjustable ram does unscrew itself, and will you have to be vigilant. Uh, anyway, I'm just ranting. Uh, in the next video, we will dimple the skin, so I will see you soon.